Thailand, 2018, my SDSU study abroad experience through the IVHQ located in Shanghai. Valuable take-home messages from Thailand. While in Thailand, I realized three important lessons that I've decided to share with you today. Number one, it's not about what you have. If there is one thing this volunteer experience truly changed about my way of thinking, it was what I put value on. Things and materials that we put so much focus on in the United States are not true holders of value. When thrust into Thailand, my living conditions seemed so subpar compared to what I was used to, but rather than focus on what I didn't have, it made me realize all I could do without. Number two, don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. I was initially so nervous about leaving the country and traveling literally to the other side of the world to Thailand. I was able to gain so much from my trip, met so many fantastic people, and shared experiences that I never would have had in my life had I not gone. Anytime you feel uncomfortable because you are fearful of something you haven't done, you're really sitting on the border of gaining something very special. Number three, travel. You will gain insightful perspective. The people of Thailand are so extremely resourceful, especially in the rural areas of Shanghai I was able to see and experience. Every experience in Thailand constantly gave me insight, giving birth to new thoughts and new life lessons. Traveling doesn't change who you are, but it changes the way to see you see the world around you for the better. My most impactful experiences while in Shanghai. My first most impactful experience was at the Jalei Hill Tribe Village. I had the opportunity to stay in one of the Hill Tribe Villages for a night and two days during my volunteer experience. It was surreal. It seemed almost frozen in time. For some people, shifting from a life of comfort in a first world city to a village in a developing country would be much too drastic a change for them. When I saw the people living there, however, I realized it wasn't so different. My second most impactful experience was in Chiang Mai at the Elephant Jungle Sanctuary. I had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to spend a day in Chiang Mai at an elephant sanctuary. It was unreal. Walking amongst elephants, feeding them, bathing them in the watering hole, covering them with protective mud in the mud hole, and sharing the experience with some of the brightest personalities I have come across in my entire life. It seems cliche, but it was sort of magical. The experiences like this just show how much this world has to offer. You just have to be willing to go there and experience them. The photo on the top is the actual Jalei Hill Tribe village that I stayed in during my homestay. The photo in the bottom right is me and an elephant. Global Perspective on Health, Thailand After experiencing Thailand, I believe it's important that we realize how fortunate a people we are as Americans and the immense access to health and nutrition related products and services we have available to us, because they are truly world class. Understanding that we are able to live lives where we are able to focus on and accomplish a great number of things seemingly unrelated to our basic needs stems from our ability to stay healthy and not have to worry about our nutritional needs. In the United States, we have access to such a variety of fantastic products and services, essentially whenever we want. It feels like everyone in the world should, but from a global perspective, everyone clearly does not. Understanding the basic principle of access truly influences how we do health. The goal is to make it accessible, everything from food, to products, to medicines, to various healthcare professionals. The commodities themselves exist almost everywhere, but it's the access that is the hard part to figure out. Thailand really showed this concept to me, as the ability to access all of this from certain areas is almost impossible due to the lack of infrastructure, various economic reasons, 
and the lack of organized focus on the issue in foreign countries. Differences between host and home countries. Thailand. It is quite literally an entirely different world, in my opinion, when compared with the United States. One of the first things I noticed was a much less sophisticated infrastructure. Most of the plumbing, for example, is not capable of handling used bathroom tissue, so it must be disposed as regular trash. Transportation is another area that suffers due to this infrastructure problem. With roads really only connecting major cities and none reaching many of the smaller communities in more rural areas, two lanes the majority of the time with motorcycles being the most popular mode of transportation. An economy that is dominated by tourism with it contributing a hefty 80% of total capital. Thailand is a poor country with its stability relying on visitation as its main source of income in most areas. Selection of foods and services is what are available locally for most people due to the listed reasons, making health and nutrition potential areas of issue in daily life. The United States, on the other hand, is much more advanced and developed than Thailand, and due to our massive economy, our refined infrastructure, and our access to goods and services, an overall healthier population. It's not that Thailand suffers from outbreaks of disease or anything, but health is more than disease prevention. It's access to good quality, healthy foods on a day-to-day -day basis, access to healthcare products for basic hygiene, and enough income to maintain a healthy environment for individuals and their families. Thailand is a magical place to visit, but when reality of day-to-day -day life is truly examined, they are very far behind the majority of the country compared to the United States. Similarities between host and home countries. As I spent my days in Thailand mostly in awe of how different it was, there were some astounding similarities as well. For example, in the main city areas, access to food is very similar. There are large supermarkets, just like a Vons or a Walmart, lined with rows of packaged goods, produce sections, and meats available for purchase. Fast food restaurants lie around busy, more modern areas, like the one in Chiang Mai from my recent memory. It's surprising to be walking through a foreign country in Asia and then come across a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Overall, life in the city is a direct reflection of what it is here. People walking and talking, shopping and eating, with the only real difference being the scenery and sounds around you. Of course, these areas are much more limited and fewer and farther between than in the United States. But regardless, some things don't change, no matter how far away you go from where you're used to. The IVHQ program and my overall travel experience. I cannot believe the experience I had in Thailand. It may seem trivial for some, but I'm so proud of my first experience outside of my home borders having been on the continent of Asia. Thailand is magnificent, unlike any other place I have ever witnessed personally in my lifetime. The IVHQ and SDSU provided me with a once-in-a-lifetime experience, one that I will remember and cherish in my heart forever. Working with the local children in the child care project was both rewarding and fun as a volunteer. Their smiles and excitement on their faces as we entered the classrooms was contagious. I had such an incredible time both teaching and learning with my fellow volunteers. The IVHQ staff in Shanghai was professional, informative, and created a perfect environment for us to have an amazing experience. It really felt like we were contributing to something important and having a good time doing it. I bonded so quickly with all of the people there, including staff members, other volunteers, and of course the local population and children. I feel inspired, like I have taken so much away from this trip, and I really see myself doing something amazing like this again in my future travels. Located to the right are a few pictures of myself and fellow volunteers with some of the local children in the child care program.